And welcome to the Tip City Chamber of Commerce annual holiday gala. I am deeply honored and thrilled to stand before you as the new executive director of this incredible organization. My name is Meredith McKee, and I am not only your executive director, but I am also a fifth generation resident of this charming and historic town we proudly call home. <laughs> As I look around this room filled with familiar faces and new friends, I am overwhelmed with gratitude and excitement. Tip City holds a special place in my heart, a place where generations of my family have woven the fabric of our lives into the rich tapestry of this community. It is truly an honor to be given the opportunity to contribute to the continued growth and prosperity of a place we all hold dear. Thank you for entrusting me with the honor of serving as your executive director. Let us make this holiday season in the coming year, a time of shared success, growth, and community spirit. Now, I'd like to ask everyone who can to please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I'd like to invite a friend of mine up to the stage to pray over our meal this evening. Please welcome Pastor Benita Ritchie from the Tip City Global Methodist Church. Hello. As Meredith started talking, I thought once you have four children, it's much easier to get everyone's attention, I promise you. <laughs> Would you bow your heads and pray with me, please? Father, we thank you for your grace and your goodness. May your face continually shine upon us so that your ways may be known in our community. We praise you, God, and may all the people praise you. Lord, we give you our land, our homes, our labor, our businesses, and our city. They're yours anyway. Thank you, Lord, for all of our civil servants. Thank you for their hard work and sacrifice. May you continually bless them. May you generously give to each of them wise and discerning hearts to skillfully govern the people in our city. Give the mayor, city leaders, staff, and city council wisdom so that they may solve problems, distinguish between right and wrong, and bring order, stability, and prosperity to our community. Lord, give your people in our community a spirit of unity as we follow you so that with one heart, in one mind, we may work together for the good of our city and glorify your name. Give us your humility, Lord, and let all barriers, walls, strongholds, and divisions that keep us separated from you and from one another come down. Father, thank you for empowering your people to preach the good news in our town. Let more people open their hearts to Jesus. May you revive our town with new life. May every person, marriage, family, school, and business in our community Enjoy the blessings of God, and let the benefits of your people influence our city. Look with favor on our community, protect our citizens and leaders, and enrich our land so that we may be a blessing to others. We pray that you would be honored and lifted up in our community. And now, Father, I ask that you bless this evening. May you be glorified in word and deed, and especially at this time of year, we thank you for the gift of your precious son, and we pray all of this in his name, and all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Benita. I appreciate you joining us tonight. As we transition into the next phase of the evening, I'm delighted to announce that back by popular demand, Nick Heinel will be leading us. <laughs> I want to express my sincere gratitude to each and every one of you for being here tonight. I'm genuinely looking forward to connecting with those I haven't had the pleasure of meeting yet. To you miss all the fun, Simon. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. I'm sure some people are still finishing dinner up, but we're gonna go ahead and get this uh, kicked off here. My name's Nick Heinel. I represent my family company, Repicorp Labels and Packaging. 
have previously, yes, previously served on the board and now on the fifth year of emceeing for the Chamber Holiday Gala. Hope everybody enjoyed dinner. Uh, big shout out to Mrs. B's Catering. Thank you very much. I was just informed today is our previous state senator, Bill Beagle's birthday. Bill, please stand up for us. And you're gonna have to stay standing because we're singing you happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear William. Happy birthday to you. Woo! <clears throat> Literally just found that out, so that was not how I expected to start, but happy birthday, Bill. I want to thank you all for being here tonight. We have a lot of very deserving award uh, recipients to honor. And I want to jump right in to uh, recognizing our elected officials that are in the house. Would stand be recognized, please. State Senator Steve Huffman. I know it's very tempting, but please try to wait for all the autographs and photographs of Steve till after the event, if at all possible. We don't want to get it too congested up here in this area. Next is uh, Tip City Mayor Mike McFarlane. <laughs> Tip City Council President Catherine Huffman. Tip City Council member, Joanna Pittenger. <laughs> Tip City Council member, Ryan Liddy. <laughs> Ryan, basic construction stand. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Monroe Township Trustee, Philip Cox. and incoming Tip City School Board member, Angela McMurray. We have a bunch of past award recipients in attendance. So I'm gonna to try to say one group, hold your applause, we'll do that whole group at one time. So, for Citizens of the Year, we have Philip Cox. You gotta stand though, Philip. You guys stay standing too, I know, I know. Dr. Andrew Davidson, Ruth Safried, Stan Evans, Heather Bailey, Matt, I'm sorry, but Matt Buer. <laughs> Lisa Santucci, not two years in a row, I'm not screwing that up. And, of course, celebrity Jim Bailiff. <laughs> Logan Rogers? Newly elected council member. Please stand. Next is for the Young Professionals of the Year, Reed Spencer, Michael McDermott, Carly Amlin here? What? Yes, I didn't see you. Uh, Katie Wall, Diana Featherstone, Mr. Simon Patry, Brandon and Kevin Cox, and William House. <laughs> Small Businesses of the Year, Tip Eye Center, Midwest Memories, 
Philip G. Cox, Royal Crest Agency. Sharon Elaine Photography. Bash Fu. Mock Cabinets by design, sorry. <laughs> and Amlet, oh, Amlet Advantage. And last, Frings and Bailiff. Once again, Jim told us he was going to be here today, so a couple penciled notes in there. <laughs> and then businesses of the year, we got Repicorp, hey, hey, hey. Dysinger and Patchery, A.O. Smith, now known as Regal Rexner, Coldwater Cafe, Monroe Federal and Abbott. Thank you, thank you. It's awesome to see how many of our elected officials, previous award winners, previous businesses of the years continue to support our community. I'm a little disappointed that I don't see everybody here, however, Thank you all for being here um, and continuing to support our community. That is truly what makes Tip City such a great place to work, live, and play. I'd also like to congratulate Meredith on her new position as our executive director. <laughs> Hiding back there. We look forward to see what you can do to continue improving our chamber board. So, hey. Why was the snowman embarrassed when he was spotted rummaging through a bag of carrots? <laughs> because he was caught picking his nose. <laughs> all right, all right, first attempt. So moving forward, I would like to invite our current 2023 chair, Eric Norquist, to the stage to discuss some chamber business. You're tall, Nick. Yeah. Um, yeah, as you all are finishing up your desserts, um, this is uh, one of the fun parts of the night, but we do have some business that we need to attend to. So before we move on to the fun stuff, um, we do, as I mentioned, have some official business to conduct at this year's annual meeting and gala. Uh, there has been some proposed amendments to the bylaws that were emailed to all of the membership for consideration. The changes made are largely to streamline how we conduct our business given advances in technology and clarify certain aspects of the election process. So with that introduction, I'd like to entertain a motion to approve the adoption of the Fourth Amendment and restatement of the Tip City Chamber of Commerce Code of Regulations. I have a first. Do I have a second? Is <laughs> you beat me to the punch. Yeah. Yeah, no. Um, is there any discussion that needs to take place? No discussion? All in favor, if you raise your hand and say aye. 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 All against, raise your hand, say nay. Okay, motion passes. Thank you very much. All right, as we mentioned, <laughs> thank you, Simon, too, for all your help. Appreciate that. So, yeah, as mentioned, on to the fun stuff. Um, thank you again, Nick, for being here. Uh, obviously, when you're elected chair, one of the first items of agenda is to get you on board for the gala each year. So thank you once again. You always do a great job and we appreciate you doing that. Um, and thank you to all of you that are joining us this evening. Uh, each year, the gala gets better and better and it's great to see all of you out here. Um, at this time, I would like to ask if Marty Newsom could come up and join me here at the stage. Come on, Marty. So, 
Yeah, no, uh, Marty's going off the board this year, and, and I just wanted to thank you for your dedication, your contributions, your service to the chamber. Marty's one of the kindest people you'll ever meet. And again, on behalf of the board, we appreciate everything you've done over the last six years. Your input's been invaluable. And again, I just wanted to say thank you from all of us at the board, all of us at the chamber, and I wanted to award you with this plaque. Well, thank you very much. You got thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, so as we started uh, 2023, we had, a, we had great momentum from 2022 going into this year. Um, everything was going smooth, and then we had some changes in the chamber. So what change brings excitement, brings newness, and we were really excited to uh, bring on a new executive director for the first time in 11 years. Um, so, sorry, let me just uh, get where I'm at. Yeah, so we had our first new chamber director in, in 11 years. I wanted to say we are grateful to Liz Sonnenstein, her contributions. Yeah. Wanted to recognize her contributions that she made over her tenure as the executive director. We appreciated her continued support as well through the transition. Uh, we're thrilled to have Meredith McKee as the new executive director here at the Tip City Chamber, and we look forward to a great 2024 with her. Her enthusiasm is infectious, and we appreciate the warm reception that she's received from everyone. Um, as we entered this year again, we were in year two of our strategic plan, and we're pleased with the progress of our goals. Our membership remains at an all-time high at 210 members in the chamber. We ramped up the networking opportunities, again, through our business after hours and 12 at 12 lunches. We had 14 ribbon cuttings and welcomed new owners and businesses in our community. And one of the highlights is always the annual Tip City Chamber golf outing, which met all our expectations and all the participants enjoyed another successful year. We increased our digital advertising as, as well this year. And as mentioned last year at the meeting, we did a reprint of our map for the first time in 10 years. And it's awesome the response we received to this. This is one of the most positive uh, items that is requested when people come into the chamber. So we're excited about having this introduced again this year. Our Teen Leadership Academy had another successful year with seven participants and several of them were volunteering to help at the gala this evening. It was exciting to see everyone come together as a unit and gain knowledge in government, business, teamwork, and philanthropy. They also were given awards away to local nonprofit businesses based on consensus and personal connections that they had to those organizations. So it's been my honor to serve as a chair over the past year, and as we move forward under Andy's leadership and the next chair, and Meredith running at full speed, this upcoming year will be even more amazing. Thank you again for attending tonight's event, being part of the chamber, and enjoy the evening. At this time, I'd like to invite Mayor McFarland back up to the stage. Thank you. Uh, at this time, I would like to call the following incoming board members up front. Carly Amlin with REMAX Alliance, Team Amlin Advantage. Katressa Burrell, Keller Williams Advisors. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And Mike Weaver, Team Psycho Martial Arts and Fitness. Red carpet. The only time you're getting red carpet. I would also like to call forward the following executive committee officers. Your 2024 chair, Andy Heinel. Your 2023 chair, Eric Nordquist. 2022 chair, Corey Vaughn. Chair-elect, Simon Patry. Treasurer, Pam Catalano. And board members, Megan Cofield, Kurt Conley, Cam Johnson, and Kim Maloof is not able to attend tonight. The office to which you have been elected is one of dignity and importance. 
In accepting this office, you undertake a responsibility which is not to be assumed lightly. With the policies and bylaws of the chamber as your guide, you must be ever ready to exercise the duties of the office with which you are entrusted. You are also charged with the duty of furthering the object objectives of the Tip City Chamber of Commerce. Please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear that you will faithfully execute the office of the Tip City Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors to which you have been elected and will to the best of your ability serve as a living example of this organization's philosophies and beliefs? If so, answer by saying, I do. Ladies and gentlemen, I present your 2024 officers and directors for the Tip City Chamber of Commerce. I would also like the chamber for allowing me the opportunity to do this dastardly deed tonight. It's been my pleasure and my honor. And at this time, please welcome 2024 Chair Andy Heinel. Thank you for that introduction, Mike. Appreciate it. Whew. Public speaking. I think the only thing that would make me more nervous than being up here in front of all you would be if my father Rick was up here speaking <laughs> in front of all of you. Eric, there you are. Would you like to come back up here? Okay. I know I speak on behalf of the entire board and we would like to express our sincerest appreciation for your focus and dedication over the last year as the board chair. This year offered the entire board and tip chamber with another major curveball. And through your efforts, we're now able to kick off 2024 on the right path. We've all greatly enjoyed working alongside you. We appreciate your dedication and look forward to continuing your success in 2024. Thanks, Thank you very much. We accomplished a great deal in 2023, as Eric just spoke about. We continued our strategic plan. We grew membership, all of our business events, and navigating new le leadership at the chamber. Uh, thank you, Meredith, uh, for moving back to Tip City solely and only to accept this position, because <laughs> I know there was no other reason. <laughs> um, I know you will be a very strong asset to the Tip Chamber, the Tip City businesses, um, and will continue to build what Liz has helped build over her tenure. Um, I would also like to express my sincerest gratitude to Liz. Her dedication to the Tip Chamber has made it what it is today. Uh, she will be greatly missed by not just the board members past and present, but everyone in this room and everyone around the Tip City business community. Thank you, Liz. We wish you the best of luck and are still expecting you to run the toilet par three hole at the golf outing every year. With new leadership in the chamber brings new ideas, new insight and, the new, and an opportunity to improve. We're not even into the new year and less than two months into Meredith's, Meredith's leadership, you should already be seeing new things happening at the chamber, including a special social media campaign designed to celebrate our local businesses and community. This is in collaboration with the Downtown Tip City Partnership, and this festive social media campaign aims to highlight the unique offerings of Tip City's businesses and foster a community spirit during the holiday season. You'll be seeing more of this campaign in the weeks ahead, so make sure you're checking out the Instagram and Facebook pages for the Chamber. Did I get that right? All right. Speaking of holiday spirit, <laughs> We're starting a tradition uh, and offering an annual Christmas ornament. I know you've heard a lot about them. Uh, that can be purchased for $10. These highly collectible and priceless ornaments were produced <laughs> and donated by Repicorp Incorporated. The artwork has been provided by a local artist, Linda Spivey, who has been a fixture of the Tip City business communities for years, including selling her art within the roller mill and the hotel gallery. These ornaments will celebrate Tip City's history the first annual ornament 
is of the Tip City Roller Mill, which was finished in 1839 and represents Tip City's oldest business. How fitting. Not only can we consider this building Tip City's oldest business, but it gave reason for John Clark to plot out our town in 1840 and also give name to it. If you didn't know, John's admiration of William Henry Harrison, who was at the time campaigning for President of the United States, Clark drew from Harrison's campaign slogan, Tippecanoe and Tyler too, and he named his new town Tippecanoe. So grab one of these tonight before they're gone. <laughs> Moving into 24, we're welcoming, welcoming the three new board members, Katrisa Burrell, Carly Amlin, and Mike Weaver, all of whom I look forward to working with. I know they will bring experience and great new ideas to the TIP Chamber Board. We also have exciting events to look forward to, including the Taste of TIP, um, which will be at the TIP Center this year, a new location the always amazing golf outing, and if you have not heard, we're preparing for a solar eclipse uh, in early April, and it sounds like it's gonna be quite the scene around here. Please mark your calendars for the solar eclipse block party, which will be downtown on Saturday, April 6th, with the eclipse on Monday, April 8th, starting precisely at 3.08 p.m., with the final exit of the moon shadow from the state of Ohio at 3.19 p.m. Fun fact, the next solar eclipse in the state of Ohio will be in 2099. So if you're looking to check off a bucket list of seeing the solar eclipse in Ohio, you better get it done, Jim. <laughs> also, along with the social media campaign that, that we're working with the Downtown Tip Partnership, we're also partnering with them and having a float in the MUM Festival this year for the first time ever. And we'll be hosting quarterly business meetings for business leaders, nonprofits, schools, government officials to provide a space for conversation and updates on what's happening in the community. In closing, for 2024, we look forward to supporting, assisting, and being a principal resource for your business as they continue to navigate what has become anything but normal years ahead and I'm sure 24 will be completely normal with the next election cycle. <laughs> so I'd like to thank you again for attending tonight's gala, gala. Thank you for allowing me to serve as a 2024 board chair, and most importantly, being part of the Tip City Chamber of Commerce. I hope you and your families have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you. <laughs> Nick, come on back up. Thought you were going to forget to bring me back up here. Thank you very much, Eric, Mike, and Andy. We're expecting big, big things out of you next year, like maybe two sweet <laughs> ornaments. I can't wait to hang mine on my tree. It does look good, though. So. We're going to do the presentation of the awards next. Anybody that receives an award, plus the person that is presenting damn, the award to that person, I need you to stay around afterwards, get your commendation from uh, Steve, and then also get a picture with Sharon Elaine afterwards. After the event. Yes, there's just too much up here right now to get good, beautiful, newspaper worthy pictures of you all. So, we were just talking about the golf outing, or I heard something about golf. It made, <laughs> can't even say it. What's the difference between Santa and Tiger Woods? <laughs> Santa stopped at ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Liz isn't here anymore, so I figure that might slide. <laughs> so this has been a wonderful evening so far, and the most anticipated part, the recognition of businesses and individuals who have shown a significant contribution to the overall good of our community. 
I'm going to have Eric come back up to the stage and uh, present the Chairman's Award for Excellence. I'm moving it down, Nick. So yeah, good evening once again. So it's truly an honor and privilege to stand before you this evening to honor an outstanding individual who dedicated themselves to the growth and prosperity of our chamber and community. I'd like to recognize and celebrate the remarkable achievements with the Chairman's Award of Excellence to our former Executive Director of the Chamber, Liz Einstein. Yeah, before, before Liz gives her speech. In, in a world of business, leadership becomes a, diff, a key differentiator. We were fortunate to have Liz as a leader for 11 years, who not only understood the intricate dynamics of our local businesses and the business landscape, but also possessed the vision, passion, and enthusiasm needed to drive positive change. Under Liz's guidance, our chamber has become a beacon of innovation, collaboration, and economic growth. Her focus has not only attracted and helped new businesses on our community, but has also fostered an environment where existing businesses can thrive. Through innovative programs and partnerships, she's provided our members with the tools and knowledge needed to navigate the ever-changing business landscape successfully. One of the hallmarks of Liz's leadership is her commitment to inclusivity. She worked tirelessly to ensure that every sector of our community, regardless of size or industry, felt represented and supported. This inclusivity has not only strengthened our local business, but has also created a more vibrant and connected community. Tonight, as we honor Liz, let us not only celebrate her professional accomplishments, sorry, but also acknowledge the personal qualities that make her a truly exceptional leader in person. She led with integrity, compassion, enthusiasm, and a genuine desire to see our community flourish. In recognition of Liz's outstanding contributions to our Chamber of Commerce, the community at large it is with great pleasure that we're presenting her with the Chairman's Award of Excellence. This award is a symbol of our deep appreciation for her dedication, leadership, and the positive impact she made on the businesses in this room and the lives within our community. We wish you the best of luck, Liz, in everything you do. Please join me in a thunderous applause for Liz on this well-deserved honor. Unexpected. I hate this. Um, <laughs> um, truly, thank you. <clears throat> oh, good gosh. Um, it's been an honor. It's truly been an honor to be able to represent this community as the leader of the chamber. Um, as when I came here 14 years ago, I was going to be a stay at home mom, and there was clearly um, different plans. So, um, thank you, Simon. Thank you, Pam, for believing in me when I got started. I don't know what you were thinking. <laughs> But thank you for that. I appreciate it a lot. And um, the leadership of all the chamber uh, board members. Um, you are in good hands. I want to make sure you all know that Meredith is, um, I've been lucky enough to work with her the past two months um, to during this transition. And you are in excellent hands with her. Um, she is fresh and new. And there is going to be some exciting things ahead. And I'm going to encourage all of you to reach out to her to volunteer, to support her, to help her. Because this is not an easy job at all, and she does um, need that. So I do want to say thank you for this, and it's going to be awesome what's ahead. So thank you very much. Appreciate it. <laughs> Congratulations, Liz. I gotta say, I've been doing this five years now, and that is the most you spoke at one of these events. So, interesting how you move out, and there you go. But, 
honestly, Liz started the chamber when I was in my second year being on the board. She made amazing advancements for our chamber with improving and adding events, securing and increasing sponsorship, and growing our membership. We worked together a lot over the past seven years. Uh, she's very deserving. Everything she's done for our local businesses and our chamber. And again, congratulations. And we already miss you. <clears throat> Next award is the Young Professional of the Year. I'm going to bring up uh, Mr. Simon Patry from Dysinger and Patry. Thank you. And, and Liz, I, I know it's not my place, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, it, it is I and Pam and everybody on the board who thank you for, for coming on board. You did an amazing job, and we wouldn't be the same without you. So thank you. <clears throat> now, to, it's my privilege to introduce 2023's Young Professional of the Year. Um, I typically like to make jokes, but I, I'm not going to, um, because I think that uh, this person's achievements are, are impressive and need to be, I, I admire them, but I think they need to be heard for what they are. This person is a dedicated spouse, parent, and has repeatedly placed service of others, their community, and our country above self. This person was an Eagle Scout. This person decided to serve the United States Marine Corps. He was in the infantry during one of the most dangerous times to be a Marine in, in, in modern history. He served five years from 2006 to 2010, completing two tours in Iraq, and including Fallujah. He received many decorations, medals, badges, and citations, and because I have no clue what I'm talking about, I had to Google what he might want me to hear. Oh, shoot, I said his gender. Um, <laughs> so I wouldn't say his perfect attendance award, you know? Like, like why is he talking about that? So, but he, he was awarded, with an Iraq campaign medal with Bronze Service Star. After leaving the service, this person chose another dangerous line of employment as a firefighter. Still puts out fires to this day, by the way. Um, by any definition of the word, at least by me, this man's literally a hero. Being the impressive individual that he is, this person earned a bachelor's degree and postgraduate doctorate degree while working full time. Following graduation, this person's compulsion to serve continued for some reason. And once they got back home and come into Tip City, that person's impact was immediately felt in a positive and meaningful way. Specifically, they served both Tip City and Miami County on the Tip City Planning Board, on United Way of Miami County Board, on the Downtown Tip City Partnership Board, by volunteering and participating at St. Christopher Parish, on the Tip, Tip City Rotary Board, and on Tip City Council. You can see this person, their spouse, and children around Tip City participating in all festivals, volunteering where help is needed. This person is truly a dedicated family person, as evident to all who know them. Professionally, this person has excelled and proven themselves to be nothing short of extraordinary, and I, I know that for a fact. And unsurprisingly, they were offered to join the partnership of the company they worked for faster than any other person in the company's history, which began in 1981. This person is Ryan Liddy. Um, so, T Simon, I believe, won this award 10 years ago. Looks like he's passing the torch to me. I'm surprised it's not a tissue box, because I believe that's kind of what we were waiting on. Sorry, I had to throw that one in there. Um, my wife and I came here in 2019, and we jumped right into the community. And I just want to say, our profession is very contentious. And I've never had a dealing with anyone in this community where I said, I never want to deal with that person again. And that means a lot to be a part of this community. So thank you very much for the award. I really need that tissue box, so thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, Ryan. To be honest with you, I don't know Ryan very well. 
So I Googled him before I came here also. <laughs> and uh, man, US Marine Corps, former firefighter, now an attorney at Dysinger and Patry. I think his resume, resume probably speaks for itself of why he got selected for this award. So congratulations, Ryan. With year after year after craziness, it is now harder than ever to own and operate a business. Harder than ever before. For, unless you were alive during the Great Depression, like Jim Bailiff. <laughs> <laughs> However, we have an amazing business tonight <laughs> that we selected. I'd like to invite Jim McKee to the stage for the presentation. <laughs> It's my honor to present uh, the Business of the Year Award. Uh, the business selected excels at a lot of things, but I wanted to focus on three specific areas. The quality of product, the customer service that they uh, provide, and then also the commitment to the community. Uh, I think also often we can take things for granted uh, just because they're close by, whether that's people, whether that's businesses. And it, it really kind of hit me how uh, oftentimes we can, we can do that. When I heard comments about this business from people outside of Tip City, uh, we had a client uh, in the office last week from Frankenmuth, Michigan, and uh, she came a little bit early. Uh, she was all excited. She had been shopping in downtown Tip City, and she said, do you realize how great this store is? And I kind of thought, well, I kind of do, but I kind of take it for granted too, because I'm, I'm there all the time. But just seeing her level of excitement uh, was pretty refreshing, and it gave me kind of a new um, appreciation for this business. We appreciate the wonderful quality that they provide, uh, very reasonable prices, uh, in fact, we have clients who will schedule their meetings with us around their schedule. Like, no, we can't do Monday meetings because they're not open. So uh, they do bring a lot of people into town, which is uh, also pretty cool, uh, spending time at other shops. Uh, and they're also, they have an excellent product, excellent reputation, but they're willing to try new things. Um, they're not content with the status quo, and we appreciate that. Uh, their customer service is absolutely outstanding. We've talked in staff meetings, how do we get to that level of customer service? They're so outstanding. Uh, I was uh, in this business with a friend from Columbus. And again, an out-of-towner, um, we uh, were leaving the store and uh, he uh, said to me, uh, they treated me like I shop there every day. Um, you know, what a great feeling for customers. Uh, who have never been in this business before, just how friendly the staff was. And I don't think we can ever take good customer service for granted. I think it's harder and harder to get. So, you know, that excellent customer service really stands out. Uh, the company's commitment to the community was never clearer to me uh, than during the pandemic. They allowed customers to purchase a roll of toilet paper at a very reasonable price. This may seem very trivial, but if you needed toilet paper then, that's a pretty big deal. Uh, and uh, it just uh, kind of illustrated to me how they're always looking for ways to help the community. You know, it may have been a small thing, but to the person that needed that, it was pretty important. Um, the commi uh, commitment to the community goes beyond Tip City. Uh, they provide a Thanksgiving dinner uh, to one of the poorest neighborhoods, most drug-infested uh, neighborhoods in Dayton. Uh, and they've done this for many years, and I think that just illustrates not only the commitment to our local community, uh, but also the, the greater Dayton area in general. Uh, because of the excellent product they provide, uh, wonderful customer service, and commitment to the community, uh, it's my honor to present the Business of the Year Award to Nick and Andrea Hoover and the employees of Bodega.
Um, Tip City makes it easy. Like we we want to serve you. We want to we want to do better. Um, and just thank you so much. This is um, yeah. Such an honor. Thank you. It is great honor. Thank you. <laughs> Jim Bailiff. <laughs> good work, Bodega, and congratulations. I mean, who doesn't love a good sack lunch, bottle of wine, and a roll of toilet paper? Jeez. Talking about food makes me think. Just a lot of stress at Christmas time. Just remember, stressed is desserts spelled backwards. <laughs> now moving on to the most exciting award of the evening. Please welcome Heather Bailey to the stage for the Outstanding Citizen of the Year Award. Everybody. Oh my gosh, who left this up here? Okay. We're all right? We're all right. <sighs> Give me two seconds. This is so exciting, it really is. Tonight, we have many giants in this room. There are a lot of people that I'm looking around and I'm respecting for so many reasons, right? And you are too. I, I see people that I respect be because of their good deeds, uh, their benevolence, their backbone, they're willing to take risks, and their generosity. We live in a great place. And the person I want to talk about tonight, and I will not cry, the person I want to talk about tonight is one of those giants. He, yes, I shared the gender, he doesn't seek recognition ever. He's a behind the scenes leader but this spotlight is most deserving for him. 34 years ago, a new fresh face joined, moved to town, and he was joined by an equally fresh-faced wife. He's, um, oh, he was oh so young, with children off on the horizon, but I'm ahead of myself. How do you find your way in a new town? We all know how to do it. We join clubs, right? So that's what our hero did. The Lions Club, the Chamber of Commerce, the Optimist Club, the Tip City Foundation, often becoming the president for each one, sometimes more than once. And our hero tonight is also a distinguished member of the Rotary Club, a Paul Harris Fellow, plus one, plus one seems to be very important, and he is an expert pancake and hot dog maker, according to uh, Rotarians who have been to these fundraisers. And he fits that in when he isn't helping first-time grant applicants navigate the foundation's application process. By my count, since he began leading grant distributions, he has overseen more than $1 million in awards out the door. That's a lot of money, folks. That's a lot of money for our tiny town. These represent more than 600 unique grants to every single nonprofit serving our area, which in turn serves us all. It's all in a day's work for our hero, but what an impression he leaves when he goes about his life. Many of you know him through his professional side. He is a dedicated eye doctor, and the words above and beyond were in so many of his letters of support that I simply stopped counting. One patient's eye condition required a stay in the hospital. Kind of unique, right? 
And while there, our hero reached out to her every several hours to check on her status and to make sure that she understand, understood what was happening to her. Kind of a unique thing for a doctor and a patient these days. And later on, when she tried to express her gratitude, he simply replied, that's what you do in a small town. Oh, back to those kids that I talked about. Two girls, one boy. Band parents, this young hero of ours and his wife, band parents and uh, athletically uh, cross country, they spent endless hours cheering from the sidelines. But perhaps the ultimate sign of parent dedication was the year that he chaired the school levy campaign. Now, I don't know about you, but anybody chairing the school levy campaign should fast track to citizen of the year. <laughs> yeah. Right? You should. So, Diana Featherstone, in her nomination, said, his voice is never the loudest in the room, but it is always the most thoughtful. That's pretty special. So I'd like to thank the chamber for selecting this hero as the 2023 citizen of the year. And now I'd like to introduce you to my friend, my eye doctor, and a quiet champion who supports the quality of life that we enjoy, Dr. Jim Ramped. been a year. Um, I'm glad to be here. Uh, in uh, 1989, um, my sister's eye doctor introduced me to Andy, and I was one of the lucky people who, right out of school, found his spot. Uh, I've been here for 34 years now. It's been a privilege. Um, you take care of the community, it takes care of you. Um, so, Thank you. Congratulations, Jim. We're super, super happy that you're doing well in your health as well. Thank you for everything that you've done for our community. One time I was having an issue this stabbing pain in my eye every morning when I was drinking coffee. Went to see Jim, did an exam, came down to it and said, do you take your spoon out of the mug when you drink? <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> that didn't happen. He did teach me though, you can make a blonde's eyes twinkle by shining a light in their ear. <laughs> also never happened. Again, congratulations to all these award recipients. Afterwards, please make your way over here for a photograph and commendation from Steve Huffman. Uh, we're so lucky to have all these individuals and businesses in our community. Keep up the great work. It's another holiday gala, gala, whatever you want us to say, in the books. So as we uh, wrap this thing up, we're going to thank all of tonight's uh, signature partners, Park National Bank and the Hampton Group, our premier partner, Abbey Credit Union, and thank you to the Chamber Annual Platinum and Gold Investors listed on the screen here. Thank you again to the Arbogast Performing Arts Center, or APEC, for the amazing location, and Mrs. B's Catering for the wonderful meal. All the volunteers, bartenders, um, 
And thank you again to our executive director, Meredith. Uh, so, next is, do you want to do something now? Okay, sorry. No, I just, real quick, Senator Steve Huffman, um, thank you. Um, I represent 380,000 people in five different counties, and this is my favorite event every year. Catherine and I moved to Tip City 32 years ago and uh, raised our five children, and, and it's just a wonderful event. I have an accommodation for uh, all the awards um, people tonight, and the common thing that I see is just the, the quality of people and the commitment to our community that we live in. I also want to say, th you know, congratulations, I think, to Meredith. Uh, I don't know if you read that your job description says that on this night it's your job to keep Nick under control. Um, and, and second, now you have Andy that you got to keep under control for the next year. Um, and Jim, I think it's unwarranted the things, some of the things Nick said, but I nominated you for the Young Professional of the Year and I'm not sure, I'm not sure why, but thank you very much for having me. It's a great community and I enjoy it every year. Thank you.